Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and I have the OnePlus 6 right here, which is on the latest version of Android, Android 9 Pie, and it actually received the update just about a week ago, so I wanna kinda of show off what OnePlus has done with this update, because yes, they do have their skin over Android, but it's very minimalist, and they add some cool tweaks. There's also a few different options for navigation buttons down at the bottom, a couple different gesture systems, so I wanna talk about that, but also wanna make note of it took them 45 days from the release of Android 9 Pi to get an update out. Now this is actually a pretty big deal. It seems like Google, Qualcomm, and manufacturers are all working together to start to speed up the process of updates because they are getting access to the beta early on specific devices, so they are able to code for it, put their skin on it, and then release it a little bit quicker than they normally would. And of course, no, this doesn't solve the fragmentation problem, but it is a step in the right direction. Of course, if you want quick updates, get a Google, get a Google phone, or of course, Apple has the option to get updates right away on their devices. So those are the two that get their updates right away because of course, Google makes Android, Apple makes iOS as expected. So when you do have a skin over Android, it takes a little bit of time to code in the things that you wanna to add to it. And that's what's great about Android. But of course, there's that downside of fragmentation and a little bit slower updates. Now, some manufacturers are faster than others. Like I said, 45 days is pretty solid, at least in terms of a past track record of other manufacturers. But anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at Android 9 Pie on the OnePlus 6, especially because the OnePlus 6T is coming out this month. So you can expect a new phone from OnePlus. Uh, and of course, it should launch with Android 9 Pie. So let's take a look at what OnePlus has done with the latest version of Android. Here is my OnePlus 6 on the Android 9 Pie. To show that, you'll see here up at the top, Android version 9. You can quickly tap on it to get to an Easter egg, just a colorful P for Android Pie. Also noteworthy, this is Oxygen OS version 9. So that is their skin over Android Oxygen OS. And you will see here, uh, right away, they have the standard gesture system for Android 9 Pie, which is on Pixel devices with just this one pill at the bottom. You tap it to go home, you press and hold it to get to your Google Assistant. Uh, if you go into a screen, so if I go into the settings app, you will see a back button show up in the left corner here that you can tap to go back. If you wanna go to your recent apps, you swipe up, you can scroll through all of your most recent apps in a vertical fashion, or you can press this X, which I do like the addition of right here down at the bottom to clear all of your apps. Now let's take a look at some of the other options that you do have other than the standard Android 9 gesture system. You can actually go back to the old way to navigate with just back, home, and recent app buttons like so. So if I press home, the back, and recent apps stay. If you do press the recent apps, you are back to that vertical home screen. However, OnePlus also has navigation gestures which puts apps into full screen. You swipe up from the center edge to go home, if you swipe over, uh, swipe up and pause to go to your recent app. So similar to that on the iPhone 10, iPhone 10s, uh, back is swipe up from the bottom right or bottom left, which is new. That's a different addition. And of course, if you need to go out of it, swipe uh, from the bottom of the page if you're on landscape mode. So to show you, swipe up in the middle to go home, swipe up and pause to get to those recent apps. I can go back in the bottom right or bottom left hand corner. So you have that option as well. One thing I've noticed, the downside to it is no quick access to the Google Assistant. However, I do really like these gestures because of course, you can start using apps in full screen mode. You don't have to have a bottom bar. If you do decide to go with the Android 9 gesture system, if you want to quickly swap between apps, it's very simple. You just do a quick swipe to the right and just let go and it will quickly swap between these two apps. However, if you wanna go ahead and hold down, you can quickly drag between all of your most recent apps. It brings up this bar down at the bottom. So that is also an option to quickly swap between apps as opposed to just swiping up and getting to your most recent apps. Auto rotate also got an update. So if I turn auto rotate off and I go to the Play Store, for example, and maybe I'm laying in bed, holding my phone on the side kind of, an icon will actually show up and let's see if I can get a close up of it right there. And if you tap it, oh look, it actually will put it in landscape mode. And then if you go ahead and try and go in portrait mode, it won't automatically do it, but an icon will actually pop up yet again. And if you tap it, it will rotate. So there is that option if you'd like to use it, if you wanna turn off auto rotate, if it's accidentally rotating, maybe you're laying in bed, you, that's a nice little addition to Android 9. 
Of course, the OnePlus 6 still has that alert slider on the right side to go between ring, vibrate, and silent, which I love having. Uh, I wish more phones had this, to be completely honest. I really like the addition of this. But also, update to volume controls. So on the left side here is the volume rockers. If you press it, you will see uh, it will show up right on the left side here where you can go ahead and drag the media control volume. You can change the media output on the fly. You'll see it is uh, just on phone speaker. Or if you wanted to actually press the settings, you can go into a full list of sound settings. You do still have your theme options. As you can tell, I'm running a dark theme with a blue accent. So that is on me. It's not necessarily what stock will look like. If I do jump into the settings though, I want to go into where it says utilities, which is kind of a new section here where you can actually change it into gaming mode. You have a specific games to turn this on with notifications, answer calls via speaker, network boost, disable automatic brightness. So a lot of options with that gaming mode. You have a quick pay for long press the fingerprint scanner, the launch quick pay. In addition, to parallel apps, maybe if you have multiple accounts for some of your messaging apps, they've added that in this section, app locker, schedule power on and off, pocket mode, and one plus switch which uh, is actually the way to actually transfer all your data to, to or from a OnePlus phone. Those quick gestures also are still there, so don't worry about those disappearing where you can flip to mute, three finger screenshot. Also screen off gestures, double tap to wake or draw specific letters to open up apps, have specific actions as well. So if I wanted to go ahead and my, actually great timing, my, my light just went out. So if I wanna go ahead and t press V, Type of V, I could go ahead and use a flashlight because my uh, left side light just went out. A couple of other additions that Android 9 Pie brings is the adaptive battery and adaptive brightness. So if I go into battery settings, uh, you will see adaptive battery right there, which essentially will determine your usage patterns over time and decide which apps they don't need to prioritize and such. So that will automatically happen if you have adaptive battery checked and hopefully improve battery life. And then next up, is also another adaptive thing, and that is adaptive, adaptive brightness, uh, which you see up at the top here. And what I recommend doing if you have a OnePlus 6 or any device on Android 9 is with adaptive brightness, it will actually learn your uh, habits of turning up and down the brightness. So if you are outside and it seems to be too dim, go ahead and go manually turn up the brightness because then it will kind of remember what you're doing and what lighting scenarios and learn from that and go ahead and change uh, the specific brightness once you encounter that lighting scenario once again. Anyways, that's just about everything I wanted to cover for the OnePlus 6 at the moment on Android 9 Pie. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, click that thumbs up. Also, more coverage to come on the OnePlus 6T, which is coming out very soon. So click that subscribe button so you're notified. Again, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching.